Now the goal for saturated fat is less than 13 grams per day. There's a couple different sources of saturated fat that we want to be mindful of. The first is fatty meats, ribeye and prime rib, pork shoulder, all of those are going to be high in saturated fat. So we'll want to choose leaner cuts like sirloin and pork loin. And if we're buying ground meats, we want to choose 90% lean or more. Another source of saturated fat in our diet is dairy. High fat dairy like full fat milk or yogurt is going to be high in saturated fat. Instead we want to choose low fat dairy like skim or 1% milk, low fat yogurt or low fat cheese. Another source of saturated fat is going to be coconut oil. So instead of using that we would want to choose healthier oils like olive oil or avocado oil. A lot of us use butter in our cooking, but unfortunately butter is very high in saturated fat. It has over half of your saturated fat for the day in just one tablespoon. Instead, we'll want to use different oils when we're cooking, like the avocado oil or the olive oil to help cut down on saturated fat. Eggs have a lot of great protein and other nutrients, but unfortunately the yolks are also very high in saturated fat. So to help cut down on that, you can try to limit your egg yolks to less than four per week. Instead of using a whole egg when you're cooking, maybe try to use two egg whites instead to help cut down on the yolks that you're consuming per week. If you have any questions, you can check out our website, uwhealth.org.